Hi everyone, my name is Moni. And I'm Naveen from Before You Play. And today we have another playthrough for you. This time it is for a game called Flamecraft. This game is designed by Manny Vega and it's published by Lucky Duck Games who are helping sponsor this playthrough. And in this game, Monique and I are going to be competing as different flame keepers. We're going to be sending out dragons to different shops to collect different ingredients so that we can cast enchantments so that we can ultimately have the most reputation in the town. That's right. We have a special skill in that we can converse with dragons. Mm -hmm. And so we are going to be the people who help bring dragons dragons into different shops and earn a lot of reputation. Yeah. As, as usual, we are going to start with a teach of the game and then go straight into our two-player playthrough. If you'd like to jump around, we'll include timestamps in the description below. Now, if we make any mistakes, we'll add them to the Klingon subtitles, so go ahead and activate those if you'd like. If we find a mistake, we'll also add it to the description just in case. Lastly, if you like these kind of videos and you want to see more in the future, please consider subscribing. And with that, we are ready to begin. So if you'd please direct your attention to the center of the table, we're all set up here for our two-player game of Flamecraft. Welcome to the town, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. the loveliest of towns. Yep. We have uh, various different types of shops. We have the, the fragile reptile <laughs> and the hello nursery. And of course, all of our starting artists and dragons right. already in these shops. Mm -hmm. Now, like we we're mentioning, we are flame keepers, and so we have this fantastic talent of being able to converse with these dragons. And so over the course of the game, we're going to be visiting the various shops, gathering resources, placing more dragons into shops in order to cast enchantments and uh, fulfill the, the needs and mm -hmm. wants of fancy dragons to score reputation points, sure. which are all kept track of on this, uh, this tracker here. Mm -hmm. And of course, at the very end of the game, it's going to be whoever has the most reputation points is going to be the winner. And so the way that the game works is each turn, you're going to place your dragon token in a different shop. Mm -hmm. And so every turn, you have to move to a different shop. So say, for example, I went to Draco Bell. Let's just go back here. Sure. And at the shop, you're going to choose to either gather goods or you're going to cast an enchantment. Now, enchantments are one of the two major ways in which you're going to score reputation points in the game. Mm -hmm. If you take a look at the anatomy of an enchantment card, enchantments belong to different categories of goods. And so in this game, there are six different types of goods. We have the potions, the diamonds, we have uh, the leaves, bread, etc. Mm -hmm. And on the enchantment cards themselves, these just pertain to what types of shops you have to go to in order to cast it. Now, on the card, it also shows the requirement that you have to uh, pay in order to score the points or the rewards listed at the very bottom. So in this example, I have the Owl Beer Enchantment. Mm -hmm. I would have to cast it at the shop that produces potions, which is the Potable potion shop over here. And then I would have to turn in three leaves, a diamond, and a coin in order to score four reputation points and um, additionally gain a fancy dragon card in hand. And so that is one of the major ways in which you're going to be scoring points. In order to cast these, we need these goods. Mm -hmm. So when you go to a shop, the one of the major things that you can do there is you can gather goods. When gathering goods, you're going to gather all the goods listed at the top left-hand corner of the shop itself, as well as any dragons that are in the shop. Now, each shop has one starter dragon already in it that matches the type of good of the shop itself. Yep. So right off the bat, at the start of the game, whenever you go to a shop, you can gather two of that particular type of good, which in this case would be meat. Sure. In addition, after gaining all of your goods, you can optionally place a dragon at that shop as long as there's still space. Now, like I was mentioning, each shop can hold three of these dragons. And in the two other vacant spots here, there are specific requirements for what type of dragon you can place there. So in this specific area, I can only place a dragon that also has a meat requirement or the anvil um, good symbol on it. Alternatively, if I have an anvil a dragon, I can place it in this rightmost spot instead because you do not have to place them from left to right. Sure. And then the symbol uh, to the right of it, it tells you the uh, reward that you get for placing the dragon there. So it's going to be stuff like coins, which can be spent in place of any one type of good. These are also worth points at the end of the game if you don't spend them. Mm -hmm. Or in the case of the right hand spot here, a fancy dragon, which we'll talk about in a second. Now, of course, I said may because that is an optional step. But after deciding whether or not you'd like to add a new dragon, you can use the fire up ability of one of the dragons that are there. And so if you look closely at a dragon card, at the very, very bottom, there's this uh, flame symbol next to some text, yep. and that is its fire up ability. All the dragons of the same type have the exact same fire up ability. And so in the case of Hickory over here, their ability says you can place a dragon in town. It doesn't have to be in this shop. It can be anywhere as long as the, uh, the symbols, the symbol requirement matches. Sure. And we'll talk about all of the different dragons' abilities as we play the game. 
But again, you're only choosing one of the dragons that are already there and uh, using their ability, including the one that you just placed if you had added a new dragon to the store. Mm -hmm. And finally, the last thing that you can do when gathering goods at a shop is you can use the shop's ability. Now, these six shops are all starter shops, so none of them have abilities. Mm -hmm. But every time we completely fill a shop with all three dragon spaces, we're going to add a new shop to the town. And so in a two-player game, the maximum amount of shops that we can have are 12. So we have six more uh, spots down here. Mm -hmm. And so the new shops will have abilities such as this one, which is not one that we're going to be using today. This is a scale mail post. Mm -hmm. It says uh, you can draw two fancy dragons, keep one, and give one to another player for four reputation points. That's mm -hmm. really nice. Yeah. And so that is, of course, an optional thing, but something that you can do before you end your turn. And so that is everything that you can do when you choose to gather goods at a shop. Mm -hmm. Now, alternatively, if you don't want to gather goods, you can instead cast an enchantment. So you're doing one or the other. Yep. You're either gathering goods or casting an enchantment. Mm -hmm. Let's say on a future turn, I have a lot of goods and I chose to go to the Smith Mart. Mm -hmm. If I choose to cast an enchantment, I have to choose a face-up enchantment that has a matching uh, good symbol. And so in this example, I could only cast a uh, Samof Samoflage, Samoflage. <laughs> over here. <laughs> now, some of these enchantments require you to just turn in one set of goods for whatever the uh, reward is listed at the bottom and others require you to turn in sets of goods mm -hmm. and so in this example for uh, samoflange over here you can turn in up to three sets of meat leaf and bread combo mm -hmm. for up to nine points total if you only turn in one set of that you don't get any points at all yeah so you definitely want to have two of each type of good and in this case you are not allowed to turn in coins in place of one of these goods mm -hmm. so the enchantment will tell you when you cannot use coins before we continue, I also do want to note that the game comes with two different uh, enchantment decks. There's the purple deck, which has a simpler requirements, I suppose, mm -hmm. and more points rewarded. And then there's the gold deck. And so the gold deck is what we chose to use today. As we progress throughout the game, we'll describe uh, the enchantments to you as we, uh, we fulfill them. Right. Now say I was able to fulfill this enchantment, I turned in two sets of each type of good, I score my five reputation points, this enchantment card will now go behind the shop because now it has an additional uh, symbol for when people gather goods at that shop. Yep. And so that's going to be up to a maximum of three enchantments per shop. After casting an enchantment, I'm allowed to now use the fire up abilities of all of the dragons that are in that shop. Now, that is in contrast to when I gathered goods. Yep. When you gather goods, you can only use the fire up ability of one dragon. Right. When enchanting, you can use the abilities of all that are specifically at that shop. At the end of your turn, uh, there are some end of turn uh, procedures. If you added any additional shops to the town, those always get added face down. And then at the very end of your turn, you flip over any new ones that you added. Mm -hmm. In addition, any empty spaces in the enchantment area or in the, uh, the park, which is where we can gather uh, new dragons, yep. They get refilled at the very end of your turn. Mm -hmm. Lastly, we do have a goods restriction. Uh, each player can only have a total of six artisan dragons in their hand and seven of each type of goods in front of them. Right. If you have more than that, then you have to discard before uh, the next player's turn. Yeah, so you can have a lot of goods. It's just you can't have too many of one type of good. Yes, exactly. Now, one thing that we didn't mention mm -hmm. that comes up a lot more in higher player count yep. games is when going to a shop that has another player already in it, in this example, Hello Nursery, mm -hmm. you're required to give that player um, a good of your of your choice. Right. And that can be either a, a regular good or a coin if you'd like to give away a point. <laughs> but uh, that's going to be for every player who's there. So in a two player game, it's just going to be me and Naveen. But in higher player accounts, you may need to be giving more goods. Giving and taking. Yes, and receiving. Yeah. And that's essentially how you play the game. Uh, now, we haven't really spoken too much about the dragons, but we will talk about their abilities as we play the game. Uh, there are going to be different symbols over the course of the game, just like this one, because mm -hmm. all of the, the bread-type dragons have this ability, <laughs> and these, this ability allows you to draw a dragon. Whenever you draw a dragon, you can either take it from the top of the deck, or you can take one of the face-up ones that are in the park. Mm -hmm. They always go to your hand. In addition to the regular artisan dragons, we also have a deck of fancy dragons. And so fancy dragons are the other ways in which you can score points. Now, they look quite fancy, mm -hmm. um, and they typically come in two types, although I've drawn all the same <laughs> type here. There we go. They'll either be a sun dragon, and there's going to be a sun at the top right-hand corner of the card, 
or a moon dragon. And so there's a moon uh, right there as well. And the difference is sun dragons give you requirements that you have to turn in in order to score points during the game. Right. And so you can always fulfill uh, sun dragons requirements on your turn at any time. Moon Dragons, on the other hand, will only score you points at the very end of the game. And so the important thing to remember about Moon Dragons is you cannot use coins uh, to turn in instead of the regular goods because at the very end of the game, you actually turn in all of your coins for points before you score these. Mm -hmm. And so these are going to come in a wide range of requirements. So these we will also talk about as we play the game. Now, the Artisan Dragon deck, as well as the Enchantment deck, are both uh, sort of timers for game the game. Timer. Yep. As soon as one of the two of them has run out completely, that signals the end of the game. And each player, including the person who triggers the end of the game, gets one more turn. And then you go into final scoring. And uh, final scoring is going to be essentially one point for any coin that you have left over, plus any of the points that you get for your, uh, your moon fancy dragons. Mm -hmm. And at that point, whoever has the most points wins. And that's essentially it. So we're just going to go ahead and get cleaned up, and then we'll get started with their playthrough okay so everything is reset we both started the game with three dragon cards we also have a blue fancy dragon card which mm -hmm. is kind of our secret scoring uh we just yeah. need to figure out who is going to be going first ready rock or is it Let's yeah what do you think it's hard rock it's me. <laughs> <laughs> wow hard rock did not win today <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to be okay. going first. Uh, in addition to the gold enchantments deck, we are also playing with an optional uh, companion card. Yep. And so I have Daniel over here. Okay. Uh, this is a one-time use ability that I can utilize at some point during the game. Okay. Once I use it, um, Daniel will no longer help me. Mm -hmm. So Daniel says, when I cast an enchantment, I can fire up park dragons instead of the ones at the shop. Gotcha. So I'm probably going to want to utilize uh, Daniel's help when the shop is filled. Yeah, right? yeah, Makes sense okay well, although i guess not no. because the park dragons are always gonna have park the dragons now. yeah you're gonna yeah. have about five right. things to fire up which is really good yeah uh, i am peter uh when you reveal new shops you may go to one and take a new turn Ooh, that's kind of nice so that's like a good like gathering thing now yeah. again this is just a one-time thing yes. you can't just do this throughout the course of the game right just a one-off not an ongoing ability yeah okay so i guess that means i'm gonna go first uh, are you ready to begin yeah let's do it all right first turn well, I'm going to go ahead and start by visiting Draco Bell. <laughs> okay. So there you go. And of course, I'm going to gather goods because I have nothing to my name right now. So uh, I get to gather two meat because that is what What's this there? shop yeah. produces. Okay. And now I can optionally place a dragon, which of course I think I'm going to do. And the dragon I'm going to I'm going to place is Skewart. 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 Okay. Skewart is uh, has the meat symbol, so I can go ahead and place that in the There's middle. A ton of meat here. here. Yeah, and that's going to gain me a coin. Okay, here you go. Thank nice. you. Um, and then I can use the fire up ability. They both have the exact same ability, which is placing a dragon in town. Mm -hmm. So all of the, the meat <laughs> dragons are going to have the ability. And so I'm going to go ahead and place another dragon uh, here in critical roles because okay. it, this is potato. It's another meat dragon, and that has a meat spot. So <laughs> that'll get me meat spot. Um, another coin. Okay. <laughs> that, that's right. Cool. And of course, this is one of the starter shops. There is no shop ability, so that is the end of my turn. Okay. That goes to you, Naveen. Where would you like to go? Well, you did set up uh, that meat spot with potato over there so I could get more stuff Critical than just rolls. going to any other spot, which only gets you uh, two things. I can sure. get three things over there if I There's wanted. Not much bread on the enchantment. Not much bread, though. That's you the, that's the question. You may want to consider that. Yeah. But you know what? I think I will go there. Okay. I will go to critical rolls. So we're going to get some cinnamon rolls there. Okay, so you get two bread. Two bread and, and a meat. And a meat. Yep. So that's kind of the nice thing. It is nice. But going next, you get a little bit more goods. Yeah, I do. And then um, I am going to place a dragon because okay. I would like to get a reward. And it must be meat. It must be so meat, So do yeah. you have a meat dragon? I do. So I'm going to go ahead and place out... Cutlet. Oh, okay. Cutlet's going to go over there. Nice. That's a really sweet spot now. So this is going to get you a fancy dragon. Yep, so go ahead so and draw one. Another thing to score towards. And now that this uh, shop is full, we're going to add a new shop. This is way earlier than I imagined Super it would be. Early. Yeah. But uh, the way that we're going to do this is the new shops all have text on them because they have shop abilities. So every time we gain a new one, we're going to put the, sh the new shop ability uh, cards at the top of the town. So it's easier to read. Just so it's easier to read. And yeah. then we're going to relocate these to the bottom. So yep. maybe we should do that now. Sure. All right, we have relocated the old store. Yeah. And uh, the way that the game is played is the town is kind of revolving. So these stores are going to be upside down. Right. We will just uh, discuss what their effects are as we play. Sure. But now the new store is in place right there. We'll flip that over at the end of your turn. My turn, yeah. 
All right, so now I'm going to activate a fire up ability. So okay. I'm going to place a dragon in town. <laughs> so you're doing cutlets ability, Cutlet, which, which is, is the ability. same thing as a potato. Yeah, here. so one that we've been all the meat ones doing the most of right now. Yeah, and I'm going to put venti. Okay. Out into this far potable potions location. Of course, because it's a venti is a potion dragon. So yep. you're going to get a coin for that. Yeah, for I that like spot. coins. Coins are good. Coins are good. I'll take it. They're points. And there's now no shop ability to use, so that's going to end my turn. So we do get the reveal. Let's see. In the shop. All right. Touch a glass. So this is a, mm. uh, a I guess it's glass. This is a mm -hmm. glass good uh, shop. Sure. And it does not come pre-populated with a dragon, unlike uh, the starting shops. Right. But these spots here give you reputation as a reward. Yeah, so that's kind of nice. Good. Also, the shop ability says, use a fire up ability of a dragon from your hand. You may then gift it to a player for five reputation. And mm. anytime you gift anything in this game, you are literally giving it, giving it to, to, the opponent. to your opponent. To an opponent. So in a two player game, it's just me or you, but in a five player game, it could be anybody. Yes. Uh, so I do have Peter. I could technically use this. It says when you reveal, meaning me, yeah. uh, you may go to one and take a new turn. I'm not going to do that right now. Okay. Uh, so I will just be aware of that though in the future. All right. So back to me. I'm going to go to potable potions. Okay. Uh, this is going to get me three potions because I am going to gather goods, sure. even though none of the enchantments here require potions. None of them do. But uh, maybe they will in the future. Um, and then I'm going to not place a dragon. But I will use the fire up ability of, let's go with Tannin. They have the same ability. Yep. And so the purple dragons allow you to swap this dragon with another dragon in town and then fire up its ability. So I, I went there just so I could swap it out with Pan. <laughs> just to use Pan. <laughs> yeah. Now, when you use the purple dragon's ability, you do not they don't have to match symbols because right. clearly Pan is going to come over here and they don't match that symbol, but mm -hmm. it's okay. And so Pan's ability lets me draw a dragon, which is what I deeply wanted. I think I'm going to draw this one. Cookie. Cookie, which is the same ability as Pan, and this dragon will go into my hand. Okay. We will refill that at the end of my turn, which I think is now. Yeah, I think so. Because there's no shop ability. So that's it. That's it. Go ahead and refill Refill. the park. Ooh, another purple one. And now it's back to you. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and move on over to the fragile reptile over here. Okay. Uh, it's going to get me two diamonds, okay. which I have. And then I'm going to place out... This dragon, dandelion, ah. which is a leaf type. So the leaf type is going to cover there. Nice. I'm going to place that right into that slot, getting me a coin, yeah. which is the benefit there. Very good. Let me take it. How are you I'm going to take it for myself. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and then now I'm going to activate one of these uh, flame abilities. Uh, this one says, gift a good to another player to gain two hearts. Oh. I'm not doing that. Please. <laughs> uh, or I can gain three different goods. Yes. That seems pretty good. All right. So I'm going to take a leaf, a meat, and a potion. All right. So here's leaf, meat, and potion. There you go. Thank you. Don't spend it all on one enchantment. Not <laughs> in one spot. Okay. So that is me. All right. Back to me, <laughs> I just realized it says Satira Misu. <laughs> Satter, Satter, Mi Satter, Satter Misu. Misu. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and visit our new shop over here. Mm -hmm. This is Touch a Glass. Um, I'm going to gather goods so I get one diamond, please. Yep. If you would please you be go. so kind. Thank you. Uh, before I continue, at any time, you can score the ability of a, a sun fancy dragon. Okay. And so I have Gold Rush over here. Gold Rush says gain five uh, reputation if your total coins matches open coin slots. I believe there are only two more open coin slot, this one and this one. Oh, nice. Right? And I have two coins. You do? Yep. So that's going to be it for Gold Rush. This is going to go face up in front of me yep. because it's a dragon that I've scored. Sure. And I get my first five, my first five reputation. That's really nice. Yeah. All right. So back to touch a glass. <laughs> I can now place a dragon to gain a reward. And so I will. I'm going to place Opal Wing over okay. here, a diamond uh, dragon in the first spot. And this is going to gain me three reputation. Okay. So three yeah, more front. points. One, two, three. Uh, and then I, of course, I'm going to fire up the ability of Opal Wing, which okay. lets me get three different goods. Ooh. I think I'll take a meat, a leaf, okay. and an anvil. Okay. Because I don't have an anvil yet. Right. So I think maybe in the future this will come uh, come in handy. Okay. Right? All right. So th those are the three things. And then now I can use the shop ability. This is the first time that we have a shop ability. This says I can do I can do the fire up ability of a dragon from my hand. And then I can gift it to a player for five reputation. Do wow. I want to do that? Ugh. Well, this is the one that I have yeah, in my the hand, card that of you course. Grabbed, yeah. This is Cookie. So Cookie will let me draw a dragon. So let me draw a dragon first. Do you want this card? 
I mean, it depends. I don't know. Do you want five points? I do. But do you want this card? <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to draw a dragon from the top of the deck just to be mysterious. <laughs> uh, and then I think I will gift this dragon to... I mean, I makes it. Like, five points is pretty good. I feel good. like I saw a desire in your eye. I need a to card. Have I only have new, scoring cards. I have none of these dragons. A new dragon so. friend, right? <laughs> yeah. All right. So that's going to score me five reputation. So one, two, three, four, five. I need to figure out a way to score points. You can score points by visiting Touch of Glass as well. This is not limited to me. Yeah. There's also another uh, dragon spot there that gets your reputation. I see that. So... That's it. That's the end of my turn, and I think I'm still within the, the good limit, so okay. back to you. All right, I'm going to go ahead and move over to the Hello Nursery. Let's okay. collect two leaves, nice. uh, and then I will place out Cookie, who is that card that you just <laughs> gave me, over okay. here, which is going to get me that coin. Okay. Too bad I couldn't stop you from scoring that card earlier, Love so it. there we go. Nice. There's that one. And then now I should probably draw a card. Well, gift a good to another player to gain two. Ugh. I want to do that. What is more important to you right now? Would you like more dragon cards or do you need two reputation? I think cards because I literally have no other dragon cards. So I will top deck. Oh, there we go. element of surprise. Yes. All right. Sounds good. So then uh, there is no um, ability on the actual shop. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be it for me. Okay. Well, I've been preparing for this moment for the beginning of the game. <laughs> so I think it's time to cast an enchantment, sure. and I'm looking at you, Eye of Beholder, so I have to go to a shop that has the diamond uh, right. good symbol, which is gonna be Fragile Reptile over okay. here. And so instead of gathering goods, I'm casting this enchantment, Eye of Beholder. I have to turn in three meat, which I have here, okay. uh, one leaf, and a coin. And so for this card, had I not had any of the other goods, I could have replaced them with coins, but of course, at that point, you're spending sure. coins. Right, right. So, um, I wanted to gain goods. There you okay. go. And so the reward here, it's going to score me four reputation. So one, two, three, four. And I gain a fancy dragon, mm. which is nice because I don't have one anymore. Seeing as I, I already, I scored that one. So I'm going to go ahead and draw this. Cool. All okay. right. Uh, then I can use the fire up abilities of any number of those dragons there. So there are two dragons. Or you can use Daniel if huh? you want. Daniel's your one off here. <gasps> That's right. So if you don't want these two, you can use all these. I think I'm going to pass because I really do want to... Um... You want that green ability? Oh, sorry. I thought I was here. I wanted yeah. this ability, but I cannot. Maybe. Yeah, I guess I can gift you a good. I have all these potions and sure. no potions to show for it myself. Okay. So I'm going to use the fire up abilities of both of these. Uh, Dandelion over here. So all of the green dragons say you gift a good to another player to gain two reputation. So Naveen... I'm going to gift you a potion. Okay, I'll take it. There you go. Might as well. So two reputation. 19 to zero. And then okay. I gain three different goods. So what do we need? This is not going to get revealed until the end of my turn. Mm -hmm. And they have to be different goods. So let's just go with the ones I don't have. Or actually, let's take an anvil. Okay. Let's take a leaf. Okay. And uh, I'll go with meat. Meat. Yeah, so two of the ones that I didn't Meat's have. Meat's on three of the four cards yet. showing, so yeah. yeah. That's true. Okay. All right. That's the end of my turn. Okay. So let's go ahead and reveal a new enchantment. And we have a diamond a saber bunch of, of leaves. Light. Oh, it's a lot of leaves. But look at that reward. It's three reputation plus two coins plus one dragon. Mm -hmm. So that's nice. That's good. All right. Now that you've left Touch of Glass, now I will come over here <laughs> and go over there. So let's go ahead and get myself two diamonds for being there. You know, sometimes it's okay. Sometimes it's okay to give away a good if it's sometimes. a good that's not needed at yeah, the moment. Right? That's true. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to play out <laughs> Patina, which is an anvil symbol over the anvil symbol here. Nice. It's going to get me two points, two reputation. You're on the map. I'm on the board. You're on the town. There we go. Okay. <laughs> And then now I can use a dragon ability here. Yes. I think I'm going to go ahead and use the opal, 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 opal wing. wing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so let's get myself. I'll take <laughs> a meat, a bread, and, and a potion. Okay. A meat, meat, bread, and potion. Meat, bread, potion. I said and potion. And potion. And potion. All right. Okay. You have so much stuff. Hopefully I can do something with it. Naveen. <laughs> yeah. And so now that I've done this, I could activate the shop ability, but unfortunately I don't have a dragon guard in my hand to gift to Monique mm. that I could fire up to get five like she did on me. Yeah. But that's okay. I went there and I got two points. Right. And I got some you stuff got some that I need. Okay. And so. you're it looks like you're ready to cast some. I'm, chat, I'm ready so. to do something. Yeah. So it's it's completely fine. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and visit the Hello Nursery. Mm. So two leaves, please. Two leaves, yeah. And, and one bread. bread. Gathering. 
gathering some goods. Thank you. Okay. Uh, and then I am not going to play uh, a dragon, unfortunately, to the last spot, but I will use the fire up ability of Cookie. And of course, we know that the bread dragons. Let me draw a dragon card. And do you want one from the uh, the park? You know, that is a good question. What spots do we even have left? That is the other question, right? Well, you have anvil and uh, potion, which is anvil and potion here. Mm -hmm. More potion to the right of that. Right. Diamonds. And I know there are fancy dragon cards that uh, score you points depending on if a certain dragon has a majority. That's right. And I am a little bit fearful of the balance of our town at the moment. Okay. We do need more of the bread uh, dragons. I'm going to top deck the dragon. Top deck, okay. Yeah, all right. All right. So I think that's it, right? There's that. Yeah, no that's shop it. Ability, yeah. No shop ability, so it goes back to you. All right, so I think I'm going to finally yes. finally get something on the scoreboard beyond oh. the two that I got earlier. I'm okay. going to move on over that's to the Smith Mart. So I'm going to do an enchantment. I'm going to cast enchant. an enchantment. Yes, and I'm going to do <laughs> Samoflange. Okay. I think I'm pronouncing it right. Samoflange. Uh, your guess is as good as mine. Uh, so I can do a set of three. Yes. And I ha happen to have everything that we need. We have three meat. Nice. We have three leaves. Okay. And we have three bread. So that's going to get me the max nine, nine points. Nine points. And to be clear, it's not a set of three um, each. You can't turn in like three meat. Right. Five it's, points. It has to be the entire set of meat, leaf, uh, bread that's combo. Right. And no uh, no coins to be spent on those. So that's yes. it. So there you go. Very good. That's going to get me to my 11 points. There we go. Nice. And now this comes off the board. Yeah. And then we are going to have a new one at the end of my turn. Yeah, at the end of your turn. So you, you do get to, where are you? This is you over here? Yeah. So you, I get to fire up any fire. number that are there. Uh -huh. There's only one there. <laughs> Uh, so I can gain two of one good from the shop or dragon here. Yes, so technically basically... the anvil uh, dragons let you gain two of one good from the shop type or the any of the dragon types that are there. <laughs> and so it doesn't look like you have an option here, Naveen. No, it looks like I'm getting two anvils. It looks like you're getting two anvils. That's okay, though. Two anvils are there and yeah. some anvils are there. And okay. Yes, all goods are great, goods. right? Mm -hmm. And that ends your turn? That's it. Yeah. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what our next enchantment is. We have yeah. Rune Shine. This is a potion uh, type. Yeah. And you know what? Since you just uh, cast an enchantment, mm -hmm. I just realized these enchantments are supposed to get tucked oh, yeah, behind the Oh, yeah, we forgot to put it there. Yeah. So that there you go. There. That so now when you go here, you get an extra diamond. Yes. And when you go here, you get an extra anvil. Yes. I'm glad that we caught, caught that. It, but, but just so you going know. Going forward, we could have made a mistake. When you enchant, tuck the enchantment right. behind the shop. Mm -hmm. All right. So back to me. I am going to now cast another enchantment. So I need to remember that myself. And I think it's going to be owl beer over here, which mm. means I need to go to a potion uh, producing shop. Political Ooh, potions. Best, best place. Were you planning on going there? Uh, well, I, I, I do want to draw some cards at some point. Yeah. Well, I mean, I vacated Hello Nursery. You did, yeah. And Cookie is you there. Did. Okay. So I'm going to cast the owl beer enchantment. This is going to be three leaves, a diamond, and a coin. Now I'm coinless. Coinless, that's good. And not really many places to get any more coins. Nope. Uh, I think so, I take all those. Thank you. That's concerning. Yep. Um, this is going to score me four reputation. So one, two, three, four. Okay. And I gain a fancy dragon. Gives you a goal. Yeah. Uh, yes, it does. Ooh, okay. So this is going to get tucked behind uh, portable potions. So now we know. Very good. Now we know. Okay. Now I can fire up all those dragons. So let's start with, let's start with Venti, actually, because Venti lets me swap places with a different dragon in town and then fire up their ability. Right. So I'm going to go ahead and move Venti. Let's swap with Skewart. Some meats. Just so we can have some variety okay. in, in the dragon placements. Okay. Um, Skewart lets me place a dragon in town. So I would like another shop as well. I think that would be cool. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go ahead and place Olive, the green dragon, uh, in Fragile Reptile. Oh, that's a nice spot. That's a, that is a nice spot. It's going to allow me to draw another fancy uh, dragon. Sure. And then we're going to gain a new shop. Right. So let's go ahead and relocate that one. Okay. And we'll be back. It. All right. Fragile Reptile is officially relocated to down here okay. along with Critical Roles. Mm -hmm. And now we get a new shop. New one, which you so don't see until be, you're done. It's going to be exciting. Not, not yet. Okay. So that was this dragon. Now I can fire up uh, Pan over here. And I get to draw a dragon. I think, I think I'm going to go with this one. Frost. Frost. Fire, okay. frost fire, because they're a diamond type, and I, I would like some more variety uh, all around. That's it. Let's go ahead and flip over that shop okay. and see what we have. There we go. Ooh, the, the savage beat. The savage beat. So this is a uh, an anvil type mm -hmm. shop, and so the ability here says collect one good from each dragon in the park 
or fire up all of one type. That's yes. cool. Uh, and then we get a new enchantment. So this is um, Mino Tarts, <laughs> a bread type, okay. as well as a new dragon. Uh, herb. All right, back to you, Naveen. Okay, so I'm gonna need to draw some more cards. I'm gonna go okay. over to the Hello Nursery again. I'm gonna gain myself two leaves. I think that'll be kind of nice. So you're gathering? I'm gathering, yeah. Oh, then you get a bread as well. I also get a bread. There you go. Thank you. Uh-huh. I, I don't have a card to play out, so I have to, I'm gonna use Cookie though. And, and, uh, <laughs> fire and up gonna, Cookie's ability. Fire up Cookie's ability, yeah. So let's go ahead and, I'm gonna top deck it. Let's do it. Oh my there gosh. Sorry, Cookie is so cute. Mm. Cookie's baking. <laughs> <laughs> They're putting egg in a big bowl. The bowl's the size of Cookie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. All right, and uh, I think that is it for me. All right, well, I'm gonna go back to Touch a Glass okay. because that is just such a sweet shop. Right. It is good. Here's your... Oh, I'm assuming you're not going to enchant, right? No, I'm gathering yeah, goods. Yeah, you're gathering. Okay. Thank you. So there two you diamonds, I get an anvil. And I am going to play a dragon. I can place a dragon there. It's been a while. Um, I do have Frostfire over here, who is mm -hmm. a diamond dragon. So I'm going to go ahead and place them there. And I get a fancy dragon as a reward. That also fills another shop spot. Yep. So let's go ahead and relocate Touch of Glass, sure. shall we? Oh, no, no. Actually, this is not a basic uh, shop. No, no. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. yeah. That's right. So then let's go ahead and just relocate Draco Bell. This is one okay. of the starting shops yeah. with no text again. That's why we're doing this. Just to make that space. To make the, the, the text legible. Right. All right. Here we go. Perfect. So that's going to be revealed at the end of my turn. Mm -hmm. Now I can fire up one of these dragons. These two obviously have the same ability, but Patina over here lets me gain two of one good from either the shop, which is a diamond, or two anvils. Mm -hmm. So it really depends on what is over here. You know, I'm just going to, I'm going to use the ability of Opal Wing. Okay. And I'm going to get one, um, I'm going to get a meat, a bread, and an anvil. Okay. So just one. Uh, one each of three meat, different types. Meat, bread, of anvil, huh? Huh? Okay. <laughs> Are you scouting the uh, enchantments? I'm looking, I'm looking at what you're doing. Um, let me just see my fancy dragons. You have a lot of fancy dragons. <laughs> I do. I have. It's not good. I have four, but I don't know which ones. Oh, interesting. The timing on the sun dragons is really important. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of the one that you want to keep an eye an eye out for uh, mid game. Sure. I am going to use the shop ability, which lets me fire up the dragon from my hand, but I'm not going to gift it. So, oh, okay. <laughs> sorry. Oh, so you're not going to get the five points. Okay. I'm not going to get the five That's points. Okay. But it I'd rather is, you not have five points. It's lavender. <laughs> uh, so I'm going yeah. to swap it with, I guess, with Pan, mm. just so I can have a, a bread uh, dragon in my hand for reasons. <laughs> okay. That's the end of my turn. All right. So let's go ahead and reveal this shop, shall we? We have, oh, it's a pizza, pizza coven. Oh, it's, <laughs> there's a lot of witches there. So uh, the ability here says you give any park dragon their matching good for one reputation each. And if you're able to give them all their matching goods, you also gain a coin. Oh, interesting. Just, just no point, essentially. So I could totally do that. Huh? Yeah, you can. I mean, unless you're working one, towards. Yeah, I'm working towards other things also, yeah. Yeah, well, it is mm -hmm. your turn. It is my turn, yep. Well, I'm going to go over to the Savage Beat. I'm okay. going to collect myself an anvil, please. You're gathering? Oh, sorry, I'm not gathering. Oh, okay. Uh, I am gathering. Sorry, what oh. am I talking about? All right. There's no anvils out there yet. Okay, there you go. So we're going to take that. Uh, I will place out Brisket. Okay. Uh, brisket is going to be able to go here because it's a meat type. Uh -huh. So it's going to gain me two hearts. Nice. Two reputation. There you go. You're at 13. Uh, and then now I am going to uh, fire the dragon that's there. So it's place... A dragon in town, which I do not have a dragon in my hand, unfortunately. Oh, okay. Yeah, I just needed to get some points. Um, but I would like to do this action, which is on the actual shop itself. Uh-huh. Uh, collect one good from each dragon in the park or fire all of one type. I'm okay. going to collect one of everything. Oh, okay. So I'm going to so take uh, two, two anvils. Portion, uh, potions, yeah, yeah, two anvils. Two anvils, and two I get potions, leaf. and a leaf. Yeah. Wow, you have a lot of resources. Are you resources. at your limit and on anything here? Not yet. Wow, that seems like a lot of, a lot of goods. It does, yeah. Okay. All right, so that's me. Done? Yep. All right, it's time to enchant again. So I'm going to go ahead and visit uh, Critical Roles okay. because I'm going to cast the Satiramisu mm -hmm. enchantment. I had my eyes on this one for a long time. So three anvils, we have a meat. Oh, I don't have a coin. No coin. Monique. Wait, wait. Hold on. I got ahead of myself. You did. <laughs> oh, no, I'm ruined. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> I'm ruined. You must that, find yourself a was, coin somehow. I know. I was working towards that. This is why you can't just spend them willy-nilly. Completely uh, ignored the coin part. 
All right. Well, I have to pivot, it, <laughs> it seems. So I'm going to go uh, to Hello Nursery over here. Okay. I'm going to gather goods. Okay. Here's uh, two leaves for you. And a bread. And I'm a bread. clearly defeated. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty good. I should have known. Yeah. All right. So I'm gathering goods. Um, I can. I could place this dragon. Ugh. Do I want to do that? I'm going to hold off. I'm okay. not going to uh, place any dragons, but I will use the fire up ability of Cookie. Cookie. Okay. So, so you don't going... want to gift me for two, two reputation. You'd rather... Correct. Cookie. <laughs> okay. That's right. I do need some dragons in my hand okay. for some reasons that maybe I'll uh, share in a, in a bit. Shoot. But uh, can you please pass me herb? Herb. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Herb there is the only leafy dragon in the park. Okay. Um, that's it. That's the end of my turn. Okay. So let's go ahead and refill the park. Let's get a new one. Oh, there's fondue. Oh boy. We are actually okay. No, we're kind we're of a couple. We're almost yeah. like halfway through. It yeah. seems at least. Mm -hmm. All right, that's my turn. All right. Before any funny business happens, I'm gonna go ahead and move <laughs> on over funny to. Business. Critical rolls. Okay. I believe that's where I need to do it for the uh, minnow tarts. Oh, you're casting an enchantment? I'm going to cast an enchantment. So this one requires uh, sets of leaf, diamond, and potion. So right. So I have one, two, three, one, two, three, and one, two, three. Wow. So that's the big <gasps> Nine ones. points? Nine points. Uh-oh. So you're going to be at 22. My, my. <sighs> Look how the go. tables are turning. Turning. <laughs> yeah. Plus, I have coins. That's three points. That is three points. Yeah. So you're so, actually ahead right now. So I'm going to go ahead and slip this into something a little more comfortable right there. There you go. <laughs> into critical rolls. There you go. Okay. Yeah. Uh, now you can fire them all up. So let's go ahead and activate this one here. I'm, Cannon? I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm actually going to have to forgo this one. I think I'm going to swap these with Twig. Okay. Uh, and then I'm going to activate Twig. It's gift a good to another player to gain two hearts. So ah. I'm going to give you an anvil. You look like you have a lot of anvils. <laughs> so uh, there you go. You look like you need another anvil. Another one, yeah. <laughs> so that gets me two hearts. Yeah. So there we are. Nice. Ah, Naveen. Something. Zero to hero. Zero just to hero. So quickly. And then unfortunately, I have no dragons in my hands to play. So uh, we're just going to forgo these You don't two. have any dragons? I, I have just uh, the fancy oh, the ones. the fancy ones. Yeah. The yeah. unplaceable ones. The unplaceable ones. Too ones. fancy. Yep. Okay. Well, then that's it. That's going to be it. All right. So let's go ahead and refill the enchantment. We have fee fi fo. <laughs> okay. Okay. So same thing, sets of three. Yep. Actually, I think it's fee fi fa. <laughs> What did we say it's earlier? Fa, fi fi fo. Fi fi fo. Oh, fa. Yeah, yeah, it's fa, right? It's definitely fa. Oh my gosh, that's funny. Yeah. Okay. Uh, back to me, and I think it's time to visit the pizza coven, right? Yeah. This is a new, a newish shop. It's a good card. Shop. Yeah. So let's go there, and there's uh, lots of possibilities here mm -hmm. for placing uh, dragons. But first, I'm going to gather. Okay. So I get one meat. Then I'm going to place a dragon, uh, seeing as the rewards are points at this shop. So this one requires either a meat or a leaf, and I have herb over here. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and place herb uh, in that spot. That's going to get me three reputation. One, two, three. Mm -hmm. uh, and then the ability of herb, the green dragon, says that uh, you can you can gift a good to another player to gain two reputation. Will you be doing that? Uh, yeah, probably. You can have a meat. Meat. There you go. That is for meat. you. Okay. It's a gift. Uh, so I gain, is it just two one? Oh, two reputation. Yep. Okay, one, two. Okay. All right, so I use the fire ability, and now I can use the shop ability. It's the whole reason why I visited the Pizza Coven to begin with. I can give any uh, park uh, dragon that are matching good for one reputation each. So I think I can do all of them. Yeah, let's Because like it's it. two anvils, uh, two potions, and a bread. Right. right? Okay, and so Oof, that's going to be five, points. five reputation. Yes. One, two, three, four, five, and a coin. And that was truly the reason why I <sighs> wanted to go there. And I gifted you that anvil. <laughs> oh, my gosh. It was a nice gift. <laughs> I didn't see that the best combo. Gift, some may say. I believe that's it. Okay. Right, I don't get to draw anything additional, and nothing new was added, right? I don't think so. All right, back oh, to you. All right, I think we're going to move over. Oh, that's not me. This is me. I'm going to move over to the potable potions. Potable potions. And I'm going to collect. Uh, so I won't be doing any um, uh, enchanting. Okay. But I'm going to collect three potions. Okay, that's right. One because meat. of the owl beer uh, yeah. enchantment up there. Three potions, one, one meat. meat. There you go. All right. And then uh, I am going to, I'm going to do this one right here. Okay. Which allows me to swap. So I'm going to go ahead and swap that one with cookie. I need cards badly, yeah. so let's go ahead and do that. And then now I'm going to draw one dragon. I okay. think I'm going to take Fondue. Ah, it's you've been time. looking for a, a bread A type. way to get them, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Now the shop does not have an ability, but 
Uh-huh. I have a sun-based dragon. Oh. I have Night Bright. <laughs> uh, this one says pay five potion okay. to gain three reputation and two coins. So it's nice. essentially five points. Yeah, that's So nice. one, two, three, four, and five that's potions. Three. Uh-huh. One, two, three. And then two coins come to me. Yeah. There you go. Sweet. Did it. And so this can kind of hang yeah, out with me. in front of you. Mm -hmm. End of your turn? That's it. All right. Let's go ahead and refill a new park dragon. Mulch. Green, Green huh? Green mulch. Well, back to me. Uh, it's time to make some Satiramisu now that we have uh, a coin is the one okay. thing that I was missing. So I'm going to go to the only shop, I think, with the, the bread good, right? Mm -hmm. min, min, mino tarts. Mino tarts. Mino tarts. <laughs> so that's going to be two bread, um, that's it, two meat, and uh, a grass. A leaf? Yes, yes. Okay. Leaf. leaf, yes. There you go. Thank you. Um, wait, no, 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 hold on. What's going well, I'm on? not. Uh, I'm not gathering goods. I'm. I'm making the minotaur. <laughs> Yo, you're gonna enchant. Yeah, I'm enchanting. You got excited. You are gonna let me have all those goods. I don't know what you're doing. Yeah, I did get excited. That <laughs> yeah. is true. Okay, I am enchanting. I'm casting the Satyrmisu enchantment. Yeah, I have to is. pay resources for this. Yeah. So I'm paying three anvils. One of them was mine. Right. <laughs> you're still feeling I did that, this huh? To myself. Yeah, I what? did it to myself. Meat. Didn't see. I didn't think there was a way you could get to a coin that quickly, but yeah. There yeah. You know. This. Yeah. I. I had to. Yeah, that was, that was good. Just right there. All right, so this is going to give me four reputation. Okay. So one, two, three, Oof. four, and a fancy dragon. Okay. Um, and then this is going to go over here. Okay. So this uh, critical roll is going to only hold one more enchantment. That's a lot of stuff. By the way. Here. Yeah. Ooh, okay. My, my fancy dragons are requiring me to have a lot of resources or a lot of goods. And, That's good to know. Uh, depending on the timing of the game, I don't know if I'll, I'll hit them. Wow. Okay. I'm not going to score all of them. Okay. I can always guarantee you. I think I'll just fire up the dragons that are in my shop, which is really just going to be this one. Okay. Uh, I'm going to gift you a good. <laughs> there you meat. go, Naveen. More meat. Meat for so, me. So, two reputation. Okay. And hmm. I think that's it. Oh, no, actually, I have, a, I have a dragon in my hand. I can place one in town. So, this is Pan. Oh. I'm going to place Pan over here. And so I get a fancy dragon. Neat. Why? You saw what card I drew. Oh, did you draw the bread? I did. Oh my god. <laughs> well, there's this spot here for two points. Yeah, but Peter wants me to reveal the new shops. Well, that's that. <laughs> so here's the new enchantment card. Ooh. We have Kraken Katsu. Katsu. Ooh. I wonder if that would be. <laughs> wow. Mm. All right. This is the first time we're going to do it in the game. Okay. I'm coming over to where you are. <gasps> here. This is going to be back my meat. I mean, I've been gifting you goods that I'm you gonna might not have. I'm going to give you an anvil oh hey an you regretted that last anvil <laughs> that you I gave me did. <laughs> the one thing that i'm seeing like not too much need for i guess oh okay i mean this one needs some anvils needs some anvil yeah. <laughs> okay <laughs> uh, never mind but That's anyway okay. i'm gonna collect so let's go ahead and get uh three bread okay there you go one two three uh one leaf which i have over here and two meat oh it's two meat all right there you go. And now to meet. All right, I'm loaded with some stuff. What can I do with it? Well, you have to skip the next step and go straight to firing up an ability. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, fire up this one. I'm okay. going to give you something <laughs> so that I can get uh, two points in return. So here you go. You okay. can now have the meat. Thank you. One, We're just going to keep passing this meat back and forth. As long this as is I net meat. more. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to move on over just next door. Okay. Just a very short walk to Eye of Beholder. Are I'm, you going to satisfy it? I'm gathering chapter? some goods. Okay, here's three diamonds. Oh, thank and you. And I believe you need two leaves. I do, yes. Okay. Okay, what are you doing? Uh, are well... You I can only fire, oh, I can only do one fire up ability. Mm -hmm. That's right, forgot. Okay, so it's gonna have to be um, this one. And that dragon lets me gain three different goods. Yep. So I'm gonna go with um, an anvil, okay. a bread, and what am I missing? Just the meat? Let's go meat. Anvil, bread, meat. Yeah, because they have to be all different. Different, yep. Uh, before I end my turn, I'm going to play a card. Okay. So this is my fancy dragon, Starburst. And Starburst says I can pay the cost of an enchantment, score it, and then leave it in the row. Mm. So this could be friendly. Okay. Mean. What are you doing? I'm going to pay the cost of Saber of Light Ooh. because it costs four, four leaves. Uh, leaves and two anvils. Two anvils. The one with the one anvil that you gave. <sighs> <laughs> but I'm leaving it there. So it's That's still true. friendly. You could score it as well okay. uh, if you'd like to. 
And so this is gonna be three reputation. One, two, three. Two coins. Two coins and, and a, a dragon, dragon, which is nice. I don't have a dragon at all. Dragon. Let's go with, um, is it mulch? Mulch is green. The green yeah. Yes, please. Can I have mulch? Okay. Thank you. Um, I think that's it. I believe so, because there's no shop ability. So that's the end of my turn. Okay. So can you please refill the uh, yes. park? Yes, we're getting down to it. There's about four cards left here. So oh, this wow. is most likely going to be a timer more so than this. Yes, okay. absolutely. Yeah. yeah, this is not happening. Mm -hmm. um, All right, I think I'm going to move over to uh, Draco Bell. Draco Bell. <laughs> Draco Bell. <laughs> and I'm going to enchant over here. Okay. So uh, the... Fee fi fa or Kraken Katsu? Uh, we're doing Kraken Katsu because I don't have any potions. Ah, okay. So that is going to be coin, uh -huh. anvil, yeah. and three breads. All right. So there we go. So, yes. um, let me go so there. this is going to give you four reputation. Yeah. So one, two, three, four, as well as a fancy dragon. There so go ahead and throw that. For and that. I'm going to tuck this under uh, Draco Bell. Ooh, okay. Good. Okay. I don't know. Let me, let me Workable interpret this. A in little four bit. turns or four uh, yeah. dragon forms. Yeah. So now the next step is I can fire up all the dragons. Yep. So I want to fire up this one, which is that purple one. I'm going to swap Venti. it. Okay. Yeah, let's just swap it with, let's swap it with this pen over here. Oh, okay. All right. So that just allows me to draw one. Mm -hmm. Let's top deck it. Let's see what we can get. <laughs> okay. okay. Hey. Very good. Now, would you like to place that new dragon? I, I would like to place that new dragon. The one I just drew, I'm yes. going to place it. I'm going to place it here. Oh, it's a diamond. Diamond on diamond. Nice. Which allows me now to draw another fancy dragon. Fantastic. And then we are going to have a new shop. Silver scale. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, a new shop. So let's go ahead and relocate uh, portable potions yep. to down here. Kay. I'm just going to move over um, a little bit. A little bit. One second. All right, Potable Potions has been relocated. Our town is bustling, almost filled, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, three yeah. more spots. Three more <laughs> we potential have spots, three yeah. vacancies if so any so the new one shops want to come in, yeah. like this one. Mm -hmm. Nice, okay. All right, now it's the end of my turn, so we're gonna go ahead and flip over that shop. Okay. We have Eternal Ooh, Flame. It's a wild. Oh, this is, yeah, this is a wild good, mm -hmm. um, which means a lot of different things, but mainly there's a lot of customization there. Yeah. And the uh, the shop ability says you gain three, five, or six reputation for one, two, or three enchantments on this shop. Mm. So in order to cast an enchantment here, you can actually choose any good type because it's wild. Right. Um, certain abilities like the one on the anvil dragon, so mm -hmm. that to gain two of one good when you're doing it there, you get to choose the, the type of good, mm -hmm. but they just have to be the same. So that's nice. Oh, and these are special. Yeah. When you place dragons here, this is just any dragon, but it says, no, actually, I'm wrong. No. These two spots are filled automatically. Oh, with automatically. Dragons. Nice. Oh, that's going to that's gonna end the game very, very soon. Sooner. <gasps> Yikes. It says on reveal, draw from dragon deck and place. On both of these spots. Oh, that's cool. So then you're gonna okay, cool. Well, the rules are rules. There's bread. <laughs> and, okay, uh, honey. And then another bread. Honey and cinnabon. Okay. All right. And this is a wild, a wild type a as wild well. Any dragon type. can go there. Wow. Points. Oh my goodness. Okay. And we have a new enchantment. Mm -hmm. So we have filet a bunch mignon. Of anvils. No, filet minion. minion. <laughs> Yes. Anvils and potions. Lots of anvils. Okay, so this is the time I'm going to do it. Peter. Oh! Right? When you reveal new shops, which I did, yeah. uh, you may go to one and take a new turn. So I like that eternal flame over there. Okay. Let's go there. And even though that's like a plural form there, it really yeah. is only a one-time use. It's a one-time use. So, so you flip it over. Flipping it over. that it's been used. It's been used. Or you've, you've been uh, assisted are, by your companion. Which is great because these come populated with stuff. So yeah. So I'm going to go over here. Okay. So, so get, I'm going to gather. So you're going to get two bread and your choice Two of, bread and my choice. Oh, wild here. What would you like? Oh, boy. You know, I'll take an anvil. An anvil. Yeah. Okay, this anvil. is the good of the game. <laughs> Anvils. That's been the popular. I know. The popular good. Um, and then I will. Do you have any dragon? I any do have a dragon. dragon. I do. Okay, yeah. So you can do that. So I'm gonna place fondue out there. Okay. So fondue is gonna go there. That's gonna be three reputation. Yep. Yeah. We're going to have a new shop? No, no, we are not going to have a new shop. That is a... No, we are. Oh, we are? We are. Anytime, you, anytime. anytime a shop is completely filled with all that's three, right. That's right. That's you right. get a new shop. Okay. We are going to... This has verbiage <laughs> on it. I'm going to relocate a Smith Mart sure. here. Well, the game is almost over. It's almost over. So usually the, the town, or at least in my experience, the town gets pretty filled. Mm -hmm. So there's that. There's that. Too we get a I don't new have shop. Peter anymore. Over there? Yep. Wonderful. There we go. We're not really going to be able to utilize this too much, but we'll see what that. You know, uh, has I, I could. Uh, 
I could end it. You're gonna oh yeah, you I are draw. going to end it. So well, I could draw from here, yeah, and then it would just it would just fill in. So. Yeah, if you choose to <laughs> activate, if you choose to fire up any of their abilities, right. which you, why wouldn't you, right? <laughs> yeah, uh, you're going to draw from the dragon deck or the park, which will yes. fill. It'll trigger the end of the game, and <laughs> I will get my last turn, and, and you will I'll have, have another one more turn. Yeah. What are you gonna do on your last turn? Oh well, I don't want to say now that you're in such a fantastic what can position. What you do on your last turn? <laughs> Unfortunately, you're not going to be able to use the shop <laughs> yeah. ability of Eternal Flame because there are no enchantments on that shop. I know. Had it come out Earlier, much sooner, yeah, that would have been, nice. been nice. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, so I'm just going to draw from the top. Okay. I think, well... So you are going to well, do... Well, what do you got here, Moni? Ability? I don't want you going back to this whole spot that you did and gaining some stuff. So you have diamonds. Oh. You don't have potions. You don't have anvils. Interesting. Uh, that would only be one point. Well, have you been dragon counting? Do you know what? No. No idea. <laughs> that dragon All is. right. I got this one. Okay. Okay. Well, that is That's it. Me. That yeah. is uh, the end game trigger. Trigger, yeah. There's um, no more cards here. Yeah, there's no more cards to refill. At, and Well, we actually have to flip this over. Yep, so let's flip this right. over first. Uh, the Wishing Well. Just so, a bunch of coins. Yeah, if we're going there. Wow, if you gather there, it's just three three coins. Three coins, and um, if you have a bread or a potion and, card, you get another three. Yeah, that's nice. And the, the ability says you may flip up to three coins. If it's heads, you gain two points, and tails, you lose the <laughs> coins. It's a Wishing Well. Oh, it's so it. risky. <laughs> well, you would gain the ones, you know. And I just have to say that if I truly had a fantasy town, I would absolutely have this wishing well wishing in my well town. It. Look how gorgeous this is. That's nice. That cannot be ignored. Um, as well as the eternal flame. <laughs> as scary as... Oh, no, I think it's a spiritual room. But it's really beautiful. It would be scary to some. Yeah, I guess so. Well, <laughs> on my final turn, I am going to travel back to Critical Roles. What I feel like this is one of here? the early... Just get a bunch of bread, huh? Yeah, I do. I, I just want to fulfill some of my fancy dragon's wishes. I, it would be sad to end the game without doing that. Sure. So um, I get three bread, uh, a what do leaf. You got? May I have a leaf, please? Yeah, what, what do you got in your hand? Three bread, you reveal? a leaf, and two meat. Because just resources in general at the end of the game are nothing. Right. That is true. So what do you got? Well, I have Buttercup yeah. over here. Buttercup is holding a present. And uh, their yeah, cool. request is to pay five bread to gain three reputation and two coins. Nice. So here's one, two, three. I wanted you to four, flip for the five. coins. I know. I, I really wanted, wanted to, to see that. also. But, there's your um, two. Uh, oh, thank you. I wanted to also, but it didn't make sense. I really was kind of, I need to focus on my, my end game. Okay. So um, it's three reputation as well. So one, two, three. That's a five pointer. That is. Yeah, that's good. Let me just see what else Stop I have. Stop <laughs> there. <laughs> no well, more. I can still uh, fire, use a fire up ability. Okay. I don't think I'm going to be able to get any more uh, dragon cards into my hand. Uh, so I'm going to um, fulfill this fancy dragon. This is rainbow. Okay. Gain one reputation for each unique dragon in hand. I only have one dragon in hand. So this is literally just going to be okay. one. So, one reputation. Okay. Uh, I didn't want to go to the end of the game there without doing that. Sure. And I'm going to use the fire up ability of Twig. So okay. I'm going to gift you a good. I think I'm going to gift you a meat. meat. Oh, we've truly come full circle. Ooh, maybe I have one of those cards that says turn in a bunch of stuff. I hope you do. I hope that helps you, honestly, because that <laughs> meat has been passed back and forth for half the game. Sweaty meat. Okay. hope it helps somebody. Oh, boy. But I believe that is the end of my turn. Um, there is no shop ability there, so... That's it. Okay, it's gonna my be game me. is done for your final. My final your turn. Your final turn, Naveen. So that wishing well, you cannot enchant there because it's no, not a part of this. Because uh, it doesn't have a good type. It's a special type of shop. You know, there are a set, a small deck of special shops mm -hmm. that uh, don't have goods assigned to them, and so for those, you cannot enchant at right. all. Right. So if I go there, yeah. and I gain the three, and I'm perfect on each one, yeah. it's three for the coins mm -hmm. plus an extra two times three, so so a total of nine. Yes. I see another way to get nine. So oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. Yeah, a different enchanting, way. perhaps. We're enchanting. We're going here. So okay. We are gonna enchant at the uh, potable, potable potions. potions. Okay. Uh, so the one I see is the rune shine. We're gonna make some uh, drink. <laughs> okay, okay. So uh, up to three sets. So uh -huh. I have meat, bread, and anvil. Okay. And I do have three of them, right? So one, two, three. Yeah. One, one, one. That's a two, and then one. Okay. Two, so you have and three. Nice. So, so that I have nine all. points. Yep, nine points. Very good. Yep. So go ahead and get your point. Don't forget to tuck the enchantment, uh, yes. even though <laughs> Rune technically it doesn't really matter anymore. Tuckage. Because. And then nine points, we said, yeah. So yes. 36, 2, 45, 
Nice. All right. Oh, we are barely going to hit 50. There's oh, this is a low-scoring game lower. for us. Lower. Yeah, there's, so there's a little bit yeah. more that I can do right now. I think we were putting out the dragons uh, very quickly we were, earlier yeah. on. And so now I can fire up these dragons that are here. Yep. Now I have All a card that is a sun fancy dragon. Ah. Uh, Pocus. It says, each dragon you could fire up this turn, you may gain two hearts instead. Oh, interesting. So I could get a max six. I'm actually only going to take two of them for four. So I'm going to take one, two, three, four, and not fire these two up. So uh, I'll have four points, please. Oh, right. okay. So you're choosing. I'm choosing, choosing to fire up Skewert. One, two, three, four. And the reason why is because I have Cole. And oh. Cole can go over here and get three hearts instead. <gasps> Oh, so I get I get one extra instead of uh, instead of foregoing that one I can yeah. place this out here to take three reputations. Nice. That'd be my favorite three. Yeah, one, two, three. You have hit fifty. I hit two. fifty. So I flipped the over flip your it. Yeah. reputation. And then do I have okay. anything else I can do? Uh, I do not. That's it. Very <laughs> good. That was a good. That was a good turn. Thanks. You got the nine points and then all those nine points plus another points. five, so that's a fourteen pointer. You're ending with a bang. Bang. Well, all right. Are you ready to go into end game score? Yes. Okay, so endgame scoring is fairly simple. It's first going to be one point per coin. And yeah. so for that reason, you cannot use these coins for the moon uh, fancy dragons. Right, so I have four. I have, I have four as well. Okay. So there you go. Oops, sorry. So you're going to go to 56 okay. and one, two, three, four. I am now at 52. How many of these fancy dragon cards do you have? I have three, but I won't be able to score one. I have two and I'm not going to be able to score one. Okay, that's not bad. So, yeah. do you want me to go first, or? Uh, yeah, we I'm going to show you the one that I I can't score. Okay, I'll show you one after that. All right, so I have Forest. Forest is oh, Forest is holding balloons. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, unfortunately, uh, Forest will give me two reputation if I have three leaves. I only have one. Oh, I see. And then it would be plus plus three if I have the most. But unfortunately, I believe Ooh. the minimum requirement is for me to have three in the first place. Right, right, to get it going. Which I don't. So. All right. This is, not one this is one I drew kind of later. Okay. Uh, I could not plan for this, especially after that card kind of wiped this deck out. Yeah. Uh, Sunlight. It says pay five diamonds, which is great for you. Yeah. Uh, to gain three hearts and two coins, which uh, would have been five points. So I see. that's not possible. Yeah. yeah. We'll go ahead and tuck that. Okay. And so now for the ones that are possible, shall we? Mm -hmm. uh, I have Zircon. Zircon. Okay. It's probably Zircon, right? Probably. Um, Zircon <laughs> says I get two points. It's the same thing as a leaf one. Cubic Zirconium. Yeah, except, yeah exactly. Except it's for diamonds. So two yeah. reputation if I have three, and then plus three if I have the oh, most. Oh, yeah. There so you this go. is going to be five reputation total, um, because I think I have the You most, definitely right? do, so yeah. One, two, three, oh. four, five. That's not good. Okay. <laughs> uh, me or you? <laughs> you, go for it. This is the last one for okay. me. Okay. <laughs> Umami. This ah. is the one I started the game with. It says gain one heart for every two meat dragons in town, plus ah. three if it's the most. So I see one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So that'll be at least two, right? Because I think definitely they have the most. So it's going to be one, two. Had there been a sixth one out there, which I don't, I don't know. Because if, if there possible. was one in the park, then I would think that it wouldn't be the most. Yeah, because all of them are in play, right? And I think ties are friendly ties when it comes to those cards. Yeah, meaning so so this type of dragon yeah. is in the town the most, or at least tied for the most. Yeah. So I got two points for, um, it's for every two, you get one point. Mm -hmm. So there's five. Mm -hmm. So I got two points, plus yeah. I'm going to get an additional three. Yeah, So definitely. one, two, three. Wow. Let's tie, Monique. Come oh on. Oh my gosh. Are we going to tie? <gasps> I don't know what the tiebreaker is. I forgot. You've got to be kidding me. Are what? we going to tie? Well, my last fancy dragon is Todd over here. Mm. And Todd gives me one reputation for each type of good I have that is odd. Odd numbered. I have five, three, one, and one. Oh, that's for a total four. of four reputation. One, two, three, We're four. Tied. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe There's it. There's no way I'm winning this. I don't even know what a what tiebreaker tie is. But you have a bunch of resources. You have dragons in your hands. I don't remember what it is. All right, the verdict is in. Uh, the tiebreaker is the player who has the most artisan dragons in hand. And I have one. Come on. <laughs> Mulch. <laughs> Mulch. Mulch won the game. Mulch. Oh my gosh. Leech. Wow. I would not, I would not imagine that we would tie. tie exactly there that you that went out to play... a huge lead to start the game yeah i was gonna say that gameplay was such a roller coaster ah, right I, I kept getting the niners nine yeah nine, nine and then like yes man. you hoarded to score big but i was having trouble actually getting these these cards yes that so... is 
the challenge sometimes in Flame yeah, Cup. You have tough. to figure out, you are a dragon uh, whisperer, not a whisperer. Keeper? A dragon keeper. Flame keeper. Yes, you have to be keeper of rep the reputable with everybody, including the dragons, right? Yeah, it's you all got a good theme. relationship with them. <laughs> I use them. My one regret is I never utilized the services of Daniel, mm -hmm. my companion. Um, I mean, Daniel is eating pizza and reading a book, so yeah. who wants to disturb Daniel, right? My kind of guy. <laughs> yeah, that yeah. could have been the difference. Mm -hmm. But in any case, there you go. That is Flamecraft yeah. at wow. two players. Tied. Now, at higher player counts, there will be more dragons in the deck. Um, we had to remove some for the two player count mm -hmm. just to make sure that the timing was was still right. Yep. There's also a lot more gifting going on. Like yes. uh, as you guys are going to different uh, shops, you're going to find yourself colliding and having to give up things. Right. And so you're probably going to make decisions like, well, you're kind of in last place, so I'll go to your shop and sure. give you the gift. And yes, so, it's a little bit more political in terms of yeah. who you're going to gift uh, like your goods you, to. When you use those leaf uh, dragons, yes. when it's like, give a gift to somebody to gain two mm -hmm. points, you're probably not going to give it to your direct competitor. You're right. going to give it to somebody who you foresee is a little bit weaker. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Exactly. And the town is a little bit more bustling, so mm -hmm. you will see a lot of more motion in higher player counts. Right. And uh, once again, we are using the gold enchantment deck, but there is a purple deck right. that is, I believe, a little bit simpler in terms of these requirements. Mm -hmm. Well, there you have it. Thank you so much for watching our playthrough today. We really hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, if you have any questions about anything that you saw here, feel free to leave them in the comments down below, and we'll try to get back to you as soon as we can. And once again, thank you all so much for watching the video. If you'd like to see more like this in the future, please consider subscribing. Thank Thanks. you. Bye.